so much for coming along for the launch of a book that I think it depicts Yangon's beautiful colonial architecture in a way that's never been done or seen before. My name is Annie Gaffney. I'm an ABC radio presenter and it's very exciting to be here as the MC for the launch of Yangon, A City to Rescue. I've got a personal connection with this book and its co-authors Jacques Morty and Jimmy Kasashia. We've got some very special guests here tonight. We've got a, a group of Myanmarese architects, planners and academics who are here studying building conservation and adaptive reuse. And the Minister, of course, for Foreign Affairs, Bob Carr, is a very special guest here tonight. He's helped make this exchange of professional development happen between Australia and Myanmar. So thank you so much. We're going to hear from Mr Carr in just a moment. Back to the book. Last year, this book happened as a result of uh, Jacques Bordy sourcing a, a really interesting project, the Yangon Heritage Trust, working very hard to uh, try and conserve the beautiful colonial architecture of their city. He got me involved after I interviewed him about his work in Cuba. I'm a journalist, so it was a pretty amazing opportunity for me to be over there recording some of my own stories and meeting the very beautiful people of Myanmar who uh, greeted us so warmly and, uh, and, and showed us a very special time there. But I'd like you now to put your hands together and welcome the Foreign Affairs Minister, Bob Carr, so he can tell us about his own love of colonial architecture. Thank, thank you for the welcome, uh, Jacques and Jimmy. Distinguished guests from Myanmar, uh, this is an opportunity for me to say how fond Australia is of Myanmar, how we want to be firm friends of your country, count Australia as a friend. We acknowledge the difficulties your country faces, we acknowledge all the degradation of dictatorship over the decades of the past. We will be with you in the transition. And Jacques and Jimmy have highlighted something that sees my imagination, which is the wealth of historic buildings. If preserved, and I'm confident it will be preserved, will give the city character. It will give the city an attraction. It will give the city honour and respect. And it will give the world, it will give the world, the whole world, an example of cultural diversity. In this core of historic buildings, we can find madrasses, mosques, Christian churches, churches, Hindu and Buddhist temples, and an old synagogue where Jews from Iraq worshipped in the spirit of their faith. Not only are these buildings redolent of the history, the colonial history of Myanmar, phase in its history, not only are they full of character and interest, of architectural intrigue captured in these photos, but they convey to the world this, this wonderful and strange notion that cultures can live together, faiths can live together. So welcome to our friends from Myanmar. Congratulations to the Yangon Heritage Trust, whose work I respect so greatly. Congratulations for Jacques and Jimmy. I've got promises to keep and a flight to catch to Sydney. You'll forgive me if I leave, but good luck not only in Brisbane but in Sydney. I look forward to your report, your observations, and uh, you guys know that I'm an ally of your work and a great supporter, and I congratulate you on this wonderful photographic record. Thank you very much. Jacques, thank you. Thanks, Bob. Thank you. Thank you, Bob Carr. It is true that uh, the Australian government, through uh, Bronte Mules, the Australian ambassador in Myanmar, has been uh, a very strong supporter of what we've done there f since uh, June 2012. Um, w I want to welcome you also, guys, uh, the Myanmar delegation. This, this event wouldn't be uh, the same without you. So it's been a, a total chance that uh, your coming to Australia has coincided with, uh, with the launch of this book and the launch of this exhibition. Um, originally, uh, originally, we went to Burma because I saw on YouTube an interview of uh, a gentleman called Sonny Tain, who was uh, one of the members of the board of the Yangon Heritage Trust. And uh, I was looking for an angle to, uh, to go to, to Myanmar and to witness the changes there. I was extremely interested in what was happening there. So I contacted him and uh, I offered to volunteer 
and to go and photograph the, the buildings, the historical buildings, and give the photos to the Yangon Heritage Trust uh, for their own use. Uh, he told us to come immediately because uh, they were planning a, a major uh, international conference where they, uh, they wanted to convince the ministers to enact legislation to protect these buildings. It was very, very early times at, at that moment in, in May in 2012. I think the Yangon Trust has just been founded uh, by uh, Tant Min Tu, who's a, an historian uh, and uh, a very influential man, actually. That Tant Min Tu wrote to us uh, to, uh, uh, to allow us to help us enter those official buildings, because at the time, pulling out a camera in Yangon would create an, Im an immediate paranoia among security people. But in the end, that letter, we couldn't even use it because every time we would produce this letter, we would be there for half an hour of discussion. They would want to make a photocopy. Of course, the photocopy machine didn't end ink, so they wanted to copy it by hand. And I said to Jimmy, Jimmy, we can't work like that. We're not going to finish the work if we, if we negotiate on every building. So let's have another strategy. You work this way with your camera. They run after you, and I take the photos. And, uh, and that's what we did. So we, we didn't use much the, the letter of Tant Me Too. Uh, we still have it, but uh, it's written in Burmese. We didn't even know what he wrote, right? Like, because uh, I don't read Burmese. But I thought it was efficient because we tried it on one school, and the principal was very happy to read it. So uh, I think that he, he was saying good, good things. Well, in in the end, we, we, we showed these, uh, these photos at the Yangon Heritage Conference, first international conference, and that conference was an absolute success. I mean, uh, the Yangon Heritage Trust has, uh, had, had gathered uh, conservationist experts from all around the world, from Calcutta, from, from London, from everywhere, who came to explain uh, to Yu Sotan, the minister, the finance minister, who was the minister of, of industry at the time, I think, uh, uh, how important it was uh, to preserve uh, the historical heritage of, of Yangon. Whatever the origin, who cares if they are British or Hindu buildings or uh, Chinese temples or even the Shvedagon Pagoda, uh, this is the culture of Yangon. Uh, every capital is an international uh, uh, melting pot. Uh, uh, and Yangon is an international capital. And it's going to become uh, uh, a, a center capital in the world. I believe that, that Yangon has is, is, is a great future ahead of it. Um, the Yangon Heritage Trust has having uh, an extreme influence and a very positive influence in the protection of these buildings uh, that you are seeing in, the, in these walls. I think that without them, a lot of them would have already disappeared. So we've got to thank uh, Momo Luin here, who's the director of, uh, of the Yangon Heritage Trust. We've got to thank Tan Min Chu, who was the initiator of this adventure uh, of the Yangon Heritage Trust and gathered uh, this international conference. For us. And we've got to thank you all uh, because you are the future uh, uh, technicians, professionals who are uh, going to do the, the job on the ground. Uh, so thanks to you, guy. I want to, I want the I want the ideas to, 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 to give a clap to these people here. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to hold you much longer. Uh, uh, maybe uh, Jimmy wants to say a few words. Uh, he's been uh, he's been shadowing me in this story from the beginning and uh, and uh, very bravely uh, jumping over the cars through uh, the busy streets of Yangon to get the pictures done and stopping the traffic. So uh, thank you, Jimmy. You can take the microphone now. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to say a big thank you to everyone that is coming tonight. Thank you so much. And also thank you to the powerhouse that hosts us and all the technicians that help us to do this. What is important for me that everyone that is reading the book or just reading news about these things, what we need to, to understand that this is not only about the pres to preserve. It's not about only about preservation of buildings. It's a big thing. This is um, is about preservation of heritage of of the people of Myanmar. It's about preservation of the legacy of the people of Myanmar. So the, my biggest thank you go to all single people of Yangon and, and, and of course all Myanmar because everyone was, has been so nice, everyone has been so welcoming, and everyone was be, has been so lovely and helpful. So it's, I mean, buildings are amazing, and it's the main focus, target, whatever, but it's Building our belongs to the city, a city without people is nothing. You know, so it's just a big thank you from my heart.